Hey guys, Papa Blastoise here. Just want to talk to you guys about a subject that I don't think ever gets covered. Uh, there's a lot of road noise out here, so I'm gonna head inside and uh, let's have a little talk about something. All right, guys, I'm gonna make it short and sweet. Uh, battery's running a little low. Anyhow, I was sitting outside uh, thinking about some stuff that happened to me last night. Um, I basically got burned out trying to prepare myself to do the best that I can at the Anaheim Open. Um, it got me really thinking. I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself and it's causing a lot of negative backlash in my life. Uh, so I'm going to have to approach my run for Worlds a little bit differently. Last night something happened to me after thinking about it that I didn't realize that was happening until now. Uh, it's kind of the dark side of uh, TCG. I don't know if all the players go through this or if it's just myself. Um, I've been putting so much pressure on myself to be able to get that world's invite that I think it's having a negative reaction on how I'm playing and definitely adding so much stress in my life that the game is not fun. So I'm going to take a day off, step back, reflect, and figure out exactly what I want out of this uh, bucket list uh, thing that I had going. Um, it also got me thinking about, okay, I'm probably only going to do the world's run for one year because I financially can't uh, handle doing it more than one year um, with the support of my family and stuff. Uh, they're, they're the ones allowing me to try to do this. Um, I have some thoughts about what I'd like to do in the following years afterwards because I'd like to stay in the community as an active uh, community member. Um, but as I reflect last night, I, my plays got sloppy. I'm so frustrated because I'm stuck between so many different decks and every time I think I have a deck, all of a sudden um, a big article about how this is the play for worlds and whatnot. Um, and then I start to second guess it. And there's three decks that, on, that I have right now in my head that I think I can play effectively. Um, I will say I think one of the plays I cannot do, but I think it will be doing really well just because um, I need a, a deck that is a little bit simpler. This is going to sound weird, and I feel that some players just have the natural talent to play these uh, games at a higher level than the average person. Myself, I like to consider that I'm a high average player. Um, I like to think that I can be in the top 30% of the field, but I know, being realistic with myself, that I can never be at that top 5% uh, consistently anyhow. I might get lucky once in a while and maybe win a big tournament. Some thoughts going into this uh, challenge um, is the fact that my lifestyle has completely changed. Right now I work from 7 to 3.30, 4 o'clock, whatever it is. I go home, first thing I do is I go upstairs and I get onto PTCGO or start building decks or trying to figure out my sets or whatnot. Um, come downstairs for oh, a half an hour, maybe 45 minutes. After we're done eating, fly right back upstairs. So when I go back upstairs, I keep going at it. Uh, until about 11 p.m. and I decide that it's time to give up for the night. Alright guys, it's 6 a.m. I just want to show you this. I just got up ready for work. This is what my area looks like when I can't stay awake any longer. I go downstairs, get ready for bed, uh, by that time, it's roughly about midnight because I probably didn't leave right at 11 o'clock and do a couple of tweets on the phone and then I'm out at about midnight. Every morning I'm getting up at about 6 o'clock if not a little earlier. So as you can see, I've been running on 6 hours of sleep for the past month, month and a half. Some nights I've only had 2 or 3 hours of sleep. Um, in Indy, it was a big issue. I think we were running on a total of three hours. I did pretty good um, until I ran out of steam. And after 
losing to a couple of top end world players, it just kind of sank my ship. I don't know if it was lack of sleep or if it was just the overall deflation of losing after going 3 and 0 and then all of a sudden losing two games back to back. Uh, that just kind of sunk my ship. However, I just kind of wanted to share my thoughts this morning as I'm going to probably take a day off. Um, and I think it's all right. I think I'm going to attack this. This is my thought, to have fun. If I'm not having fun, uh, I'm, I hate to say it, but then I'm not going to try as hard if I'm not having fun. Uh, I'll still do the events. I love hanging with uh, friends and I also love the traveling and getting to see new places. Um, that's half the journey for me here. If you guys want to follow me on this journey next year, if you go below there's a little bell. If you click on it until it looks like it's ringing, uh, you'll definitely get notifications. I've been hearing that YouTube has been uh, cutting people off. So yeah guys, I'm sorry this is a boring rant. Um, I just feel that I'd like to share this with you guys. Uh, maybe you're feeling the same thing. Uh, I'd really love to talk to some of the top end players and see what their thoughts are about getting burnt out. Uh, just testing. I mean, I'm not even really playing yet. I haven't hit the road. To me, hitting the road and stuff like that, that's enjoyable because you're there, you're doing it, you're sucking in the whole atmosphere, uh, but this playtesting stuff, I just have to come up with a schedule and I think I have to get back and do some uh, walking or something to offset the sitting on, at the computer just playing. Um, until next time guys, I love you guys, take care.